Have you, is it true you've known this man since you were 14? Yes, indeed. I'm proud to say that Otis Williams is my 23-year friend. Otis Williams, ladies and gentlemen. He is the leader, founder, and backbone of the temptation. No, 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 wrong, no, him, him. This is the newest. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Music Like Network. And today I'll be talking about two individuals that usually get left out when you talk about the legendary group, The Temptations. And that is Otis Miles Jr., known as Otis Williams, and David Melvin English, that's known as Melvin Franklin. But before we get started, take a second to subscribe to the Music Like Network and get future content from the channel. Now let's get right into it. See, in sports they say, for order for you to build a championship team or a dynasty, you'll need a couple guys that would be the glue or the heart and soul of the team. The type of players that step up when the stars not having it that day or that night. That is actually what I think of when it comes down to Melvin and Otis. They were the heart and soul of the group. See, Melvin and Otis was more than just role players in their group. But I just want you guys to get what I'm saying when it comes down to them being the heart and soul of the group. Understanding just how important they were to the group. See, David, Dennis, Paul, and Eddie are great singers in their own right. But without Melvin and Otis, they would never been a dominant group, aka team, we know them to be, and that is the Temptations. Otis Miles Jr., known as Otis Williams, was born October 30th, 1941, in Texarkana, Texas. David Melvin English, known as Melvin Franklin, aka Blue, was born October 12, 1942, in Montgomery, Alabama. See, Otis' father and his mother, Hazel Williams, had separated shortly after he was born. Years later, while he was a toddler, his mother Hazel ended up getting married and moving to Detroit and leaving Otis to stay and be raised by both his grandmothers for a while. Melvin's mother Rose was a teen when she was pregnant with him. Following his birth, his mother Rose would end up getting married and end up moving to Detroit, leaving Melvin to stay with her grandmother for a while. Melvin started singing in his father's church when he was three years old. In 1952, at the age of 10, Melvin would move to Detroit with his mother and his stepfather. See, back then, you either sing, be in a local gang, or work in an industrial automobile industry. And Otis wanted to sing. As the team, music started to blow up and be very popular. Otis put together a number of singing groups, such as Otis Williams and the Siberians, the El Domingos, and the Distance. Looking for a bass singer to join his group was hard to come by, but eventually he would find that unique bass singer. See, when Melvin was a teen, he was in a number of local singing groups in Detroit. One particular was the Voice Masters that included Lamar Dozier and David Ruffin. He also the cousin of David Ruffin. Being in and out of groups was very frustrating for Melvin. So one day leaving school, he will be approached by Otis Williams to join his group. But before joining his group, Otis had to ask Melvin's mom for permission for Melvin to join the group. Now that Otis found the bass player he always wanted, and Melvin is in a consistent environment when it comes down to a group, the two will form a partnership and a friendship forever. In 1959, known as The Distance, Otis and Melvin would score a local hit that was called Come On. But other featured songs from the group wasn't successful as that one. Not seeing eye to eye with Johnny Mae Matthews, Otis and Melvin and the rest of the members will quit the distance. Later, Eddie, Kendricks, and Paul Williams will leave their group, the Primes, and join Al, Brian, Otis, and Melvin to create the Elgins. In 1961, they would sign with Motown and would change their name to The Temptations. From 1961 to 1963, they would have a tough time making a hit. At one point, people was calling them the Hitless Temptations due to their lack of hits. During this time, David Ruffin would want to join the group. He's very impressed how they sing and how they perform and how they carry themselves. While David was trying to join the group, there was an individual on his way out of the group. See, 
how Brian was getting frustrated with the group. He felt he would rather drive his milk truck than rehearse and perform due to the lack of success and money they was having. So there was an incident where one night they was performing and they was killing it and the crowd was going wild for them and everything. But this is when things started to get heated. See, when they was done, they went backstage and the crowd was chanting for them to go back on stage. And Al and Paul would get into the heated altercation that led to Al hitting Paul in the face with a beer bottle that led to Paul going to the hospital. After that, the group was tired of Al, so he got released and David became the replacement to the group and the rest is history. Throughout his run in Motown, Melvin was seen a handful of leads with the group with songs like I Wish It Would Rain, Silent Night, I Truly Truly Believe, and Ball of Confusion, and many more. Throughout their heights of their success in the late 1960s and early 70s, Melvin would have health problems like respiratory arthritis and have other health problems down the line. Meanwhile, throughout his run through Motown, Otis would be the one that kept the Temptation name going despite all the lineup changes in the group. Otis would keep them on track as a leader. While trying to keep the group together, he would go through things in his personal life. He would go through a couple of marriages, problems with his kids due to not being there, touring and stuff. At one point, he was engaged to Patti LaBelle, but she called her quits when he asked her to quit music and be a housewife. At the Paul Williams death, Eddie Kendrick's quitting the group right after, and David Ruffin getting kicked out of the group. Otis and Melvin would promise each other no matter what, they will always stay with the group to the end. In 1976, would be Otis and Melvin's last time recording for Motown. After Motown, Otis and Melvin and the rest of the guys would go to Atlanta Records, but they didn't have any success with the label. And the songs they released wasn't so great, so they got released from Atlanta Records. Around that time, Melvin would end up getting shot in his hand and leg while trying to stop a man from stealing his car, and that was when the group canceled the tour. Melvin not around due to injury and not having a record deal, Otis and the rest of the guys decided to take a break from music and focus on their family life. A couple of years later, they would return to Motown, but around this time, the Temptations wasn't who they used to be, and times of music was changing. Throughout their run in Motown, Otis and Melvin and the Temptations would have four number one hits, 15 top 10 hits, and 53 songs that was in the top 100. They won three Grammys to go with their terrific career. Also, they was the first act to win a Grammy for Motown. Throughout the 80s, Melvin and Otis would travel here and there for shows. Outside of singing, in 1984, Melvin worked as a voice actor for the animated series, The Pole Position. He provided for the character named Wills. And he also appeared in other TV shows and movies as well. Meanwhile, Otis had married his third wife in 1983. But the moment when things would just fall into place, in that same year, tragedy struck. And that was when Otis found out that his oldest son from his first marriage, Lamar Williams, had died from falling off a building in a workplace in Detroit. Years later, Otis and Melvin and the rest of the Temptations will be inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1989. Years started to go by, and in June of 1991, David Ruffin was pronounced dead from an overdose. In 1992, Eddie Kendricks would pass away from lung cancer. On February 23, 1995, in Los Angeles, California, Melvin Franklin died from heart failure. They said he had other health issues as well that might trigger everything else that happened to him down the line. Otis William, the last man standing, went through a lot losing his friends. But when Melvin passed away, it really tore him apart. To this day, Otis is standing strong, touring, writing books to keep the Temptation legacy alive. He also have a YouTube channel called The Temptations. He talks about when he first met the fellow members and all that, so go check that out.
So what do you guys think of Otis Williams and Melvin Franklin? Let us know in the comments section below. And while you're at it, check our other videos from the Music Like Network. See you next time.